Barbie is the number one film of the year. And the power couple in there, good Canadian kid, Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. And it looks like they're getting together again for another movie, an Ocean's Eleven prequel. Now, I, you know, I think like a lot of us, when we heard that Margot Robbie was going to play Barbie, where we're like, of course she's playing Barbie. She is the living embodiment of Barbie. And then when they said that Ryan Gosling, again, good Canadian kid, was going to be playing Ken, I, I don't think anybody anywhere said, I don't think he's a good fit for that. I, I don't think anybody said that ever. Uh, and he was terrific in this movie. I, actually, in, in many ways, he kind of stole the movie. I thought he was just wonderful as Ken in this movie. And they had great on-screen chemistry in that awkward thing that they did. And they're just terrific movie stars, all this kind of stuff. We knew we would probably see them together again. And now it's coming even sooner than we thought, as this is coming to us from Variety. I wrote the following. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling's combined star power helped power Barbie to $1.4 billion in worldwide ticket sales, an all-time high gross for distributor Warner Brothers. The studio is clearly hoping to duplicate the success with its upcoming Ocean's Eleven prequel movie, which is set to reunite Robbie and Gosling on the big screen. The film will be the first Ocean's project since the Sandra Bullock and Kate Blanchett-led Ocean's 8 in 2018. All right, I got a couple of thoughts here. By the way, the article goes on to say that they're kind of hoping that the two of them are going to maybe kind of be, I'm, I'm coming up with this analogy myself, but the next Meg Ryan, Tom Hanks, uh, the article is on tape that the studios and, and the directors are saying, we think they should do like 11 movies together. Whether that happens, who knows? Uh, first of all, you know what? The 2018 Ocean's 8, I didn't mind that movie. It's pretty good. It's actually a pretty good little movie. I, I liked it. Uh, it wasn't fantastic. I don't go back and revisit it every year, but it wasn't bad. The idea of an Ocean's prequel. Look, if you guys have watched me for any period of time, you know that prequel is not exactly my favorite word. I, I don't love the idea of prequels. There have certainly been some movies that are prequels that have worked out and that I've enjoyed very much, yes. But just in general, I don't like the idea of prequels. I'd rather see a story move forward. I'd rather see what happens next, what not what happened before. But... If you've got a project that both Margot Robbie and her staff and Ryan Gosling and his representation, and they all looked at this and said, this looks good. Well, sign me up. Now, you could all say, well, Margot Robbie's people said Amsterdam looked good, too. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's that that's true. But. But you know, with Ryan Gosling and her together, I will at least be interested. I love the world of oceans. So we'll, we'll see if that turns out. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. So Rob, I'm going to say this. I'm excited to see Gosling and Margot Robbie together again, more than I am about the idea of an Ocean's prequel. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. What do you think about all this? Well, first of all, John, I loved Soderbergh's Ocean's Eleven. Loved it, I think, as a breezy, entertaining caper film. So good. It doesn't get better. And the by the way, a remake that's better than the original. A hundred percent. As much as I love the Rat Pack original, the Rat Pack original is not nearly as good as it should be. Yeah. Right. And this film is, I mean, Soderbergh directed it. He shot it. Uh, the the cast is amazing. It's so much fun to watch. Look at all those guys. They look like babies. I know. <laughs> oh, so, my God. They all look so young. It's so much fun to watch. And to have John Cheadle playing Basher with his accent. Oh, I love best. Cheadle in that. I mean, I love everything about Ocean's Eleven, Andy Garcia. I love everything about it. So when they say prequel, 
I, I'm the first thing that 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 struck me. I'm like, is this movie about Danny Ocean's parents? Ooh, and I'm thinking, if it is, I hope they call the movie a pair of oceans, because <laughs> like you know, and make it a gambling uh, uh, thing. Because I'm thinking like, unless he's playing a young Danny Ocean, but he's not that much younger. But I would love to know, like, because Danny Ocean, you don't know anything about him, you know, other than he's in love with Tess, and and, but like. Who made him who he is? Like the forging of Danny Ocean, you know, and 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 his. What if his mother and father are legendary? And I love, I love Ryan Gosling. Yeah, me too. I love him. I love watching him. He's so funny on any talk show that he's on. He has such a great sense of humor. He's Remember so, him at, at CinemaCon this year? Oh my God! He brought the house down. He's so funny, and he. I, I mean, he he's like the kind of guy I wish I always knew my whole life. I wish I had a friend like him. He's great in movies. I loved him in movies like Drive. His comedic timing is amazing. The Nice Guys with Russell Crowe. I was about I was about to say you think about what if they're Danny's parents. What if, and just follow me here, what if, because of the time of the nice guys, what if it is a nice guy's Oceans crossover where his character from the nice guys is Danny's father? Huh? Bring Russell Crowe in there too? Dude, then get Shane Black to get write and direct Shane Black it. in there? I am so in, I, I'm so in, in on this idea. And first of all, I think Margot Robbie, I mean, we're so, we've been so inundated by her uh, Harley Quinn and, and all that. But if you go back and watch I, Tonya, you watch Wolf of Wall Street, she's a fantastic actress. Yeah, she really is. And and to see the two, I can't imagine, after seeing how their chemistry was in Barbie, if this brings, if that, that ocean's magic, these two, this pairing, like you were saying, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, in a caper film, and they might be opposing forces in the movie, I don't know. But if they're working together... I mean, or maybe it's how they come together and create Danny Ocean. I don't know. I'm so in on this. I mean, in terms of, I don't like prequels either, but dude, I'm excited. Like this, bring it on. Big I mean, studio caper film. Yes. It, Sign me up. It's, it's a home run, but neither of them better get pregnant or it's over. <laughs> at Warner least, Brothers regretfully at least not during the runtime of the movie. Regretfully announced they've had to pull the plug because it's just not good role modeling. Somehow Ryan's pregnant. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Gosling is pregnant. Well, that's that's got to end the movie production for a whole nother reason. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.